He said, we're getting married, March 10th. That's the day. And we're getting married by the pool in front of the fire pit. You guys got to get it done. When they told me they had a hard date on March 10th for the wedding and that they were going to have in the backyard, my initial response was, well, let's not do this. <laughs> He said, they're getting married and we need to meet their date of this. And I said, let's go, like, let's make it happen. We went to contract and I remember putting in the CRM to the whole team, hard close date, March 10th, customer having wedding in the backyard. Let's see what we need to do to pull together and get this thing done. I told her in the beginning, like, it's going to be tight. And then they promised it would be done and we're like, it's not getting done. I think Ryan was the one that said, Shelly, get a plan B. For me, there was no plan B. Like, we are getting this done for you and we're going to make it happen. It's a special case. Not every day you have a wedding in the backyard. So here at California Pools, like, that's kind of our culture. We want to help and do whatever we can. Hi, I'm Gary. And I'm Shelly. And this is the story of how our backyard came together. And our wedding day. I met Shelly and Gary. They first came into um, Scottsdale Showroom for our initial meeting. And they're just a blast. They're a great couple. Um, you can tell they're really in love. They love each other. They're best friends. Um, so we just hit it off right away. Um, they're relocating from Vegas, so coming here wasn't that big of a stretch as far as like weather and things like that, but they knew they wanted a pool. We entertain a lot. We built the house from floor up for a space to entertain and we wanted the pool to be a focal point. So making sure that we had an area to entertain was kind of a big reason why we picked Cal Pools. So when we contacted Cal Pools, we'd actually talked to two other pool companies and the first one was the guy who lives here and he does all the pools here, he said, and he's, you know, we're gonna go, you're gonna go with us because we're the best, I do all the pools there. And he designed a pool that was basically square and nothing else. And he said, yeah, no, not really. And then we went to the second one and he designed it a little bit differently. And I said, okay, that's kind of cool. And we went to Cal Pools and Ryan and I sat down and really talked about it and took the first two designs and kind of combined them and added a couple other tweaks and like that design. We had a plot plan. Uh, we were doing everything sight unseen, so it was a little bit like a toss in the dark in a way. Um, most of the areas here are flat and everything, but we had to make some tweaks and changes uh, last minute. Construction started in August. August. We started the dig in August. It was um, quite a big project. We had just got through a big major monsoon. The yard was very wet. Here we are, digging the pool. They weren't sure about getting the, the bulldozer back here um, with how wet the ground was. But we moved forward. Had to change design after the bulldozer came in due to the fact that um, there's an incline in the backyard. And Ryan was like on the phone that day doing a video chat with us and designed everything right there. So that's why we have the retaining wall back there instead of it just sloping down to the pool, which I think is a fantastic feature. Made it really look really good. One of the issues with doing a plot plan design is that you don't see the grade change. So. Um, their property in particular had um, quite a big swell going up to the back wall that was unplanned for. So we kind of had to tweak the design to make it work. We added some elevation changes to a fire pit area, um, added a nice retaining wall with a water feature and that back spa kind of tying everything in together. Um, and it actually served the purpose of dealing with the yard elevation, but also gave us some like interest and movement and flow to the design that I think worked out way better than the original one, um, just having those elevation changes. So it all worked out in the end um, to be a good thing, <laughs> even though it was a little bit of a headache. For her in this project, um, she was in a group of homeowners who had um, plumbing delays. So there was a lot of material shortages for the plumbers. And then once that hurdle was overcome, then we ran into labor delays for the steel crews. So she also went into that category. We had planned on hopefully having it done by Christmas, having family down here. And that came and went. And then we wanted it here for my up and running for my 60th birthday, because we were gonna have a big party, which we did anyway without the pool. <laughs> 
and then we had electric material delays as well. Um, so she got stuck, you know, in this bubble of jobs waiting for those different things to happen. Honestly, at first I was like, they don't care. They really don't care. They're missing this. They're missing that. They promised this. They promised that. And, you know, it was, it was COVID and there were, you know, reasons they were missing it. You couldn't get any help. You couldn't get people to come out to work. You couldn't get any products. I remember when her pool finally shock created, um, our customer service came over and he said, because this was when we were phase scheduling too. So, you know, it would go to one scheduler, then the next and the next, and then I have it from shock create all the way to the end. And finally we said, we're getting married <laughs> March 10th. That's the day. And we're getting married by the pool in front of the fire pit. You guys got to get it done. Invites were out. <laughs> and he said, they're getting married and we need to meet their date of this. And I said, let's go, like, let's make it happen. The app is amazing. I got up every morning and I wrote, what's the status of the day? What's going on today? Who's showing up? I talk to Shelly every day. Um, you know, this is the game plan. This is what crew is gonna be out there. And I told her in the beginning, like, it's going to be tight. Um, and it's gonna have to be like one after the other. And then when I didn't hear back, I'd say, hello. <laughs> and Shelly bugged the crap out of Sarah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you know, different crews do different things. So coordinating all of them, um, it, either in their sequence of how it has to go, or sometimes you can bring them all on site at the same time. Um, so no job is the same in that regard. So just being able to like look at the plan, understand the crews and who needs to go out there in what order and can they work alongside each other or not. I just said, I don't, if no one's coming, that's fine, but I need to know. And Sarah was really open and just said, nope, these people are coming and maybe 6 a.m. and maybe 5 p.m. So it's talking to the construction manager and maybe this can go first or, you know, just kind of strategically being creative of how we can do it. But Sarah always responded. She responded really quickly. Sometimes it was just to acknowledge that I had contacted her. And sometimes it was, you know, like, I'll have to tell you in two hours what the status is. Sometimes the magic aligns and it's easier to meet those drop dead dates. Um, sometimes you see a date and you're like, how am I gonna make this work? Like, what am I gonna do? I planned my wedding the year before and so like I couldn't imagine not only building a pool but also getting married where your pool is and how stressful that was. Well, two weeks before, they called us and told us that they'd ran out of the travertine. Our travertine was not in stock. And if we wanted to get it done by the deadline, we had to come pick out new travertine. Yeah, yeah, your heart kind of sinks when you get that, like, tidbit of information because you have it all lined up, right? Like, you're going here, you're going here, and then you get um, a curveball, an unknown of, hey, I went to get that material, and they actually are out, or there's not enough. It was kind of like when we were starting to hit the ground running, and then it was kind of like, whoa, wait a second, pull it back. So we went in, we picked out new travertine, um, realized that then the tile around the water line didn't work, and then we realized the stack rock didn't work, and so we had to change pretty much everything two weeks before. Kind of stressful, a little bit of stress. <laughs> Luckily, they came to pick out a new selection, um, and it's just, you know, telling our crew, like, hey, stand by, I know you're going tomorrow. They're picking a new selection today, and we have to pick it out. We have to get it re-delivered. I'll get you that square footage by the end of the day, you know? Um, but yeah, it's definitely a sinking feeling because it's like, we're already in crunch time, and then, you know. And then they promised it would be done, and we're like, it's not getting done. <laughs> it's not going to get done. So it was... It was uh... Started looking at plan B. Yep. <laughs> And Sarah said, nope, I'm gonna make it happen. For me, there was no plan B. Like, we are getting this done for you and we're gonna make it happen. So there was no plan B. They were just super great through the whole process. Um, very understanding of all the unforeseen delays and the tweaks and changes. Communication has been key. And I think that was the only way it was gonna get done in time is because the communication was awesome. And you guys did it. You came through and you were out here putting this grass in the night before at five o'clock. You guys were out here with scissors clipping it to make it even. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous the whole time, like the whole time. The turf guys stayed late to make it happen. They knew she was getting married the next day. So that was a relief to come in and just a gratitude of like seeing how hard they worked to make her wedding happen. Said, okay, we're gonna do this. So it's done. 
and then we'll fix it later, okay? <laughs> we coordinated for her to be home the morning of her wedding because you have to be home to turn on that gas. Gas got turned on morning of the wedding. So I'm like, are you sure you're not going to get ready? And she's like, we will get this done. And so they turned on the gas and, you know, we were talking her whole wedding morning and um, yeah, when she said the gas was turned on, I was like, okay, like, we're good, go get married. So yeah, it was a big relief that it all panned out. And it worked. <laughs> you guys came through. Their level of care about getting it completed was astonishing. They, they really wanted to get it done for us. Wedding day, wow. Big day. Um, Hosting that home, having my mom do all the food, having no one do my makeup, wearing a wedding dress that I never thought I would ever wear. I gotta walk through the house, out to see all my family and our beautiful yard, and it was complete, and the pool was going, and it was being heated, you could hear the gas going and to walk out and have it done. It was awesome. It was like a big achievement. When I called my mom two weeks prior saying, oh my God, I need a plan B to wedding day. I had knowing it was done. And having my family here to, to say, I finally did it. <laughs> my house was built, my yard was done. And you got married. And I got married. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the biggest accomplishment. <laughs> It was really great. It was very small, it was intimate, it was enough people to fill the backyard, and it was beautiful. And then now I can go celebrate with all my friends and family in Seattle. The pastor had suggested that, you know, do you want to do a uh, unity, unity candle, or do you want to mix the sands? We were both like, no, no, we don't really want to do that. And he said, well, you know, we're going to be up at the fire pit, and it doesn't have the rocks in it yet. They had the rocks up there already in the containers, but they hadn't been put in the fire pit yet, and one was a blue container and one was a clear container. And he said, what do you think if we put those in vases and at the end of the ceremony you go back there and you mix the rocks together in the, in the fire pit um, and then no one can touch those because if they do, they'll get burned. So if they try to mess with your wedding and your life, people are going to get burned. So, <laughs> so that's what we did. Um, me and Gary have been together many, many, many years and never thought we would ever get married. So to actually have it done in a spot that we built together was a big day. This win was huge. I mean, it really just showed that um, when you set your mind to something, you can make it happen and you might be freaking out the whole time, but it aligns, right? And it was just such a miracle and a beautiful um, project to be a part of. It definitely restored why we do what we do at California Pools. So it was a great project to be a part of. I mean, I can't say enough about our scheduling department, um, our superintendents. They the teamwork here is why I'm here at California Pools. The, the culture of teamwork and helping each other do better. Um, it's no, there's no lone wolf here. It's all about how can we help you get to where you need to be so we can get this thing done together. Um, but that's why I'm here. That's why I love this, this company. And, and that's the culture that keeps people staying. We couldn't have done it without everybody being on board. So um, definitely one of the funnest projects that I've built. Um, I'm so glad we were able to do it. And yeah, I feel like I was like in the wedding, like a party planner, a pool builder. So yeah, that one's gonna go down in history. The one that got me was the video of the wedding. I got a little teary eyed. Um, just, I knew how much hard work went into it um, from everyone, including me. Um, and I just kind of like released, you know? And it was just like that happy cry. <laughs> and I was like, Emily, my wife, you know, I was like, come look at this. We did this for this, this couple. Like, isn't that awesome? You know, it was just like a extreme gratitude, extreme gratitude. Yeah, I got goosebumps. Yeah, I love Shelly and I love Gary. And um, we sent them a beautiful bouquet of flowers from um, Dustin, myself and Ryan. And 
just because our hearts are with them, you know, like that's a beautiful miracle to get married and who does that building a pool? Like that's insane. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Shelly and Gary for like your being our customers and being my friend, um, all of your patience and I just hope you enjoy the yard for years to come. <laughs>